Hey, what's happening? How's it going? I'm Patrick Jaguer, and I'm making this video today to roll out a quick announcement. So I wanted to let everyone know that within the last few weeks, I did a rebranding for my astrology business. My new brand name is Cosmic Alchemist, and my new website that I created is thecosmicalchemist.com. So all three words together, no spaces, no punctuation. So the Cosmic alchemist.com. I'm also getting a new YouTube channel going and that's going to be The Cosmic Alchemist. So I do Vedic astrology readings and I do rune readings. And what's really motivating me to do this is that I want to bring something a little different to the self-help business. I really like the self-help business. I think it, it helps a lot of people and it's a really valuable thing that we have in our world right now. But what I see that's kind of repetitive is that there are so many books and courses and videos and teachings and with the best of intentions they're all teaching people how to basically think themselves to better lives and you know while thinking is very important it only gets you so far so you know that first step to making changes when you want to make a change in your life is doing some conscious thinking and really figuring out what it is that you want but then to really make lasting changes, you need to go deeper into that. You need to be able to go into your subconscious mind and your unconscious mind. So that's where these readings come in. So I use these readings as very powerful tools for personal transformation. So I not only do the reading, but then I create basically custom made meditations that you can then use on a daily basis to kind of help you rewrite your own mental programming. You can basically think of your three minds. So you've got three minds. You've got your conscious mind, your subconscious mind, your unconscious mind. And you can look at these as operating systems. So the conscious mind is, you know, it, it's the tip of the iceberg. It's the part of us that's above the surface. That's, it's readily visible. You know, we experience it every day. Then the subconscious mind is below the conscious mind and it's basically the intersection zone it's the overlap between our conscious and unconscious minds so conscious minds five to ten percent of us subconscious is you know maybe 10 15 percent then the remainder is the unconscious mind so that's it's a good three quarters of our mental activity and the subconscious mind is basically a self-preservation system. It keeps us safe. Safety is a very good thing, but when you're trying to do something different and make some big changes in your life, sometimes you need to go out on a limb and do something scary to get the payoff. So the unconscious wants to keep us in familiar and safe situations and circumstances. But what happens is you know, like I said, your mind is like an operating system. Every operating system gets corrupt and out of date programming. And so it's like the, uh, what happens is, is it's like, you know, they say the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over. So our unconscious mind does this to us. So it's trying to keep us safe. It's trying to keep us in a comfort zone, but it blocks us from doing things that we really want that are going to be really positive and really good changes for us. You know, we'll try to do something like, um, you know, you want to get a better job or leave your job or start a business or get in shape, eat better, get out of a relationship, get into a relationship, um, get a better attitude. That's a big one is people want to, they, you know, we, we start thinking toxic and we have toxic emotions and people just want to have different attitudes but you can't think your way to that, that new attitude, that better attitude, because it's coming out of your unconscious mind and your unconscious mind thinks that staying in old familiar patterns is going to keep you safe. So again, this is where these readings come in. I do the reading and I build you meditations and these meditations involve mantras. So there are phrases or even single words that you repeat to yourself. So you sit, you stand in meditation, you pay attention to your body, and then you repeat these words. And these words 
are basically software updates. They help you update your mental programming. And so I can't encourage you enough. So, you know, real quick on these types of readings, Vedic astrology is the old mother system of astrology. It comes from the ancient Vedic civilization in India. You know, this is where Ayurvedic medicine comes from. You know, a lot of you have probably heard of that. It's where yoga comes from. It comes from that Vedic civilization and then the Vedas, the holy books. And so when I do this Vedic astrology reading, it's your blueprint. It's the blueprint of your thoughts, your emotions, your consciousness, your strengths, your gifts, your natural talents, and it's also, you know, your weaknesses, your pitfalls, and it's what Pat, what patterns of behavior and thought and emotion that you're prone to and what patterns you're likely to see in your life. And then the runes are prehistoric. No one really knows how old they are. They come from Northern Europe, from the Germanic countries. And since ancient times, they've been used as a tool of divination. So what I do is I lay these runes out to make a mind map. And it's basically a snapshot of how your mind is working in the moment. And so it shows where things are going well and where things are blocked and stagnated. So I can't encourage you enough to check this out. I found these several years ago and they've helped me so much. These two sciences, this Vedic astrology and these rune readings. So definitely check it out. That website again is CosmicAlchemist.com. I'm also doing a spring sale right now with the coupon code Moonbeam, M O O N space B E A M, you can get 40% off of a reading. So, again, that site is thecosmicalchemist.com. So, check it out. I look forward to working with you. Have a good one.